Hi, my name is John Thuman. I'm the Aster Big Data Evangelist working for Teradata. And today I'm going to show you Aster App Center and how to build your first app. So it's really simple. It's a three-step process. First of all, we're going to show you in Teradata Studio some statements that we're going to use for our, app, our application. They're already running and they already work. Now this could be a combination of SQL MR, SQL GR, or ANSI SQL. Could be any combination they're in. We're then we're going to open up App Center and we're going to build the application and finally we're going to configure and run that application and go from there. So this is Teradata Studio and in Teradata Studio I've written this SQL MR code that is really just a NPATH statement that looks at bank web data and looks for all sessions of users that end in a conversion where they ended in a bill manager enrollment. And down below, you can see here that this is actually running and working. So to get started, what I would do is I would simply just copy this code out, minimize the screen, and we'll go here, and this is App Center, and we're going to build that app. We're going to click on that link right here, and a window is going to pop up, and it's going to allow me to put in my app name, which we'll call Bank Paths. We'll leave this at an app version of 0.1 and the developer name we'll just call John T and the developer ID com.teradata.com.john and then description we'll just put in bank paths to conversion excellent and then down below here we'll just leave these alone for now and in subsequent videos we'll actually go through what these do and how they work and things like that but for now we're just going to keep things simple so over here we're going to set an icon and what this is going to do is just give us an image of uh, something to put in there to visually represent our app. And I'm going to choose this Sankey visualization. And there we go. You can see that icon is in there now. And over here we're going to just step into the logic. And this is where we actually put our code. But before we do that, we have two choices. We could choose SQL, which is SQL MapReduce or SQL Graph or above. Um, and then Java. So we're just going to leave this as SQL and we're going to create a begin and an end. And what this is going to do is just wrap our code or our statements inside of a transaction. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to paste that code we just popped out of, um, out of uh, Teradata Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this table that's going to be created with my end path in it. I'm going to use this table name, and this is a create table as statement, and I'm going to use this table name as the source for my visualization because we want to visualize this data. We're going to come down here and we're going to generate visualization code. Come down here and the, right here we're going to put that name of that table in the CTAS statement in here, and then we're going to choose a data format because this is an end path query. We'll just choose the end path output schema, and then we'll choose um, our visualization type. We'll use a Sankey. And we'll give it a name as Bank Sankey. And now we'll just add that visualization code in. And as you can see here, that insert into App Center visualization code has been added in automatically. We're done. That's it. So we'll save that off. And now we're going to run. We're going to configure the app and run it for the first time. So to configure an app, what we're doing is, is we're telling that that application can run against a data source and that data source is an aster cluster and what it is is you can create your own new one here just by clicking on this button right here but all it is is the IP address of a queen a user ID and a password in a database and that's it so we'll just use this one and I'll save that off now we're ready to run the application so all you have to do is give it a title so we'll call it test or let's call it bank paths and we'll call it just use bank as a tag and we'll hit run and over here you'll see that this entry is in progress and if it, if it were to fail out what it would do is it would say fail and then over here there would be a link to more information to give you help and assistance uh, during that to debug that and now we see we're done and we're given the Sankey flood visualization now we're going to pop open that Sankey diagram and we're going to see that it was a fairly painless thing to do and voila we're done and there's all the bank paths for that set of data to a bill manager enrollment. And that concludes our video of how to build your first app. Thank you.